In this section, we will use the Resource Browser to import symbol resources from another file. In the Resource Browser, click on the Files menu button above the Home button. In the Files menu, choose Browse a Document. This will allow you to view resources from other Vectorworks files. Download the Skatepark Symbols.vwx file. This can be found in the Exercise Files section. Navigate to the Skatepark Symbols.vwx file and click Open. The file contains three symbols a concrete bench, light post, and wooden bench. These symbols are currently saved in the Skatepark Symbols file. To import the symbols into our document, you can either drag and drop a symbol into the file or use the Import option to move the resources into the active document. Select all three symbols in the Resource Browser, right-click on the first symbol and choose Import from the menu. In the Import Symbols dialog, leave the Preserve Folder Hierarchy enabled and click OK. Now click the Home icon in the top right corner of the Resource Browser. This will switch the view of the Resource Browser back to the active document. If you scroll through the Resource Display window, you will see the three symbols now show with the other symbols we have created in this file. Next, we will use the Symbol Insertion tool to add bench symbols around the skate park. The Symbol Insertion tool allows you to place a symbol and set its rotation. Let's start by creating a new class for the benches. Name the class Benches and make it the active class. Switch to a left isometric view. Now let's place some wooden benches under the gazebo. In the Resource Browser, double-click on the Wooden Bench symbol. This will make the Wooden Bench the active symbol and activate the Symbol Insertion tool in the Basic Palette. Move the cursor over the right side of the gazebo. Using Smart Points and the X-Ray Select mode, align the insertion point of the bench with the center of the right side of the gazebo. Click once to place the bench under the gazebo roof. Move your cursor down and to the right Click once to center the rotation and place the bench. Then, using the Mirror tool, create a duplicate of the bench on the other side of the gazebo. Using the same technique, place four more wooden benches around the bowl on the upper level of the skate park. Double-click on the concrete bench symbol in the Resource Browser and place three instances of this symbol around the lower level of the skate park. In this section, we will add a single light post symbol to the skate park. Then using the Extract tool, Offset tool, and Duplicate Along Path command, we will create 12 light posts around the skate park. First, create a new class named Light Posts and make it the active class. Switch to a top plan view and center the drawing area to the right of the gazebo. Double click on the Light Post symbol in the Resource Browser. Click once outside of the skate park to the right of the gazebo to set the insertion point for the light post. Move the cursor to the left horizontally. Click once to set the rotation. Next, we will need to extract the edge of the concrete base to create the path to duplicate the light posts around. To make it easier to extract the edge, set the rail class to invisible. Activate the Extract tool, enable the Extract Curve mode, and click on the Extract Tool Preferences button. Check the Select Tangent Entities option and uncheck all other options. Move the cursor over the edge of the concrete base. A portion will highlight in red. Click once to select it. While holding the Shift key, move the cursor around the concrete base until all of the edges are selected. Do not select the edges of the gazebo extension. Click the green check mark button in the toolbar to extract the curves. The curves will be created in a group. Go to Modify, Ungroup to ungroup the curves. 
With all the NURBS curves selected, go to Modify, Compose to create one object. We need to offset this path. You cannot use the Offset tool on NURBS curve objects, so we will need to convert the NURBS curve to a polygon. Go to Modify, Convert, Convert to Polygons. In the Convert to Polygons dialog, choose Wireframe Rendering and click OK. Ungroup the converted polygons and go to Modify, Compose to combine the polygons into one object. Activate the Offset tool, enable the Offset by Distance and Offset Original Object modes, and set the distance to 1.5. Click once on the outside of the polygon. Select the path and the light post. Go to Edit, Duplicate Along Path. In the Duplicate Along Path dialog, set the number of duplicates to 12 and check the options for Center Object on Path, Tangent to Path, and uncheck Keep Original Orientation. Now click OK. Delete the path object as it is no longer needed. Switch to a left isometric view to see the placement of the light posts. You will see that the bases of the light posts are lower than the surface of the skate park. To better visualize the position of the light posts, click on the Classes button in the view bar and set the site class to visible. This will turn on a pre-configured site. The object was made using the same techniques we used to create the concrete base. Let's adjust the height of the light posts. First, if any of the light posts are on the tapered or filleted slopes, move them off the slopes. Select all of the posts on the upper level of the skate park. To adjust the height of these posts, simply set the Z to 2.75 in the Object Info palette. Now select any of the light posts on the middle level and set the Z height to 1.25. Repeat this operation for the light posts on the lower level, setting the Z height to 0.15. Finally, set the Rail class to Visible.